Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make apps and programs open and load faster on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. The methods in this video should help decrease loading times on your apps and games, and we'll be covering methods that help both all apps and some of the specific ones that you choose. Some of the methods may or may not help, so feel free to skip some of them and even revert the changes you've made. We'll be covering enough possible solutions that hopefully at least a few of them will help. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the methods. I'll be assuming that none of your apps and programs have any problems causing them to take a while to load, but if you think that is the case, then I would recommend reinstalling or repairing the program. Also, there is a chance that viruses could be causing problems, so make sure you have scanned your PC. Moving on, the first thing to try is to make sure that there aren't any other programs using the resources of your hardware that could be affecting the app you want to open. This will be most noticeable just after starting your PC up. There are two things we can do for this. First, we'll turn off some of the startup applications that will run automatically when you start your PC. To do this, head to the Task Manager. You can get there by right clicking on the taskbar and then by choosing Task Manager. In the Task Manager, find the tab called Startup. It should be the fourth option and click on it to show the list of all the applications that will run automatically when you turn on your PC. You'll need to go down the list and look for any programs you know you don't use or those that you don't use regularly. Disabling them in here won't make them stop working, however they may take a bit longer to run when you do want to use them. But of course, if you don't use them that often, this won't make too much difference. To disable an application in here, all you need to do is right click on it and then choose disable. It's helpful to look at the startup impact column to help make your decision on whether it's worth disabling them. You can always enable the program again by right clicking on it and then selecting enable. The other way to stop background apps is to first go to the main settings page by clicking on the cog icon within the start menu and then in the settings choose privacy. Now scroll down on the list on the left until you find the option called background apps and then click on that. You should now see the list of apps that can run in the background on your PC. Use the toggle switches to turn off any apps that you don't use. You should notice a boost in overall performance, but it will take longer to run these apps when you want to use them, so only turn off those that you don't use often. The next method will be to change some of the power settings on your PC. You may be able to increase performance by changing the power plan. To edit these settings, first go to the control panel. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the control panel, Go to System and Security, and then find Power Options from the list. If you haven't already, you might find that turning on high performance will help speed up your PC, but you will increase power consumption, so if you are using a laptop, this will shorten the battery life. Whilst you're in these settings, click on where it says Choose what the power buttons do from the options on the left, and then click Change settings that are currently unavailable in blue. Make sure Turn on Fast Startup is selected. If it is already, then you don't need to change anything. These power settings changes should improve PC performance in general and improve loading times. Another method that might help is to free up space on your PC, especially if you are near capacity. I have a video that will show you 10 easy ways to free up space, so click the card on screen now to watch that one after this. The next method is to make sure the apps you want to start up quickly are set to high priority. This is only a temporary fix that you would need to do each time you load up the app, and it should help if the app stops responding or if sometimes it takes a while to load. To do this, open the program first and then go to the task manager again. The method to get there was to right click on the taskbar and then choose task manager. In here, Go to the Details tab this time, and then look for the program you are opening. It might not be called the exact same name, but you should recognise it when you find it. Once you have found it, right click on it, and then hover over Set Priority, and finally choose High from the list that appears. 
The next thing to try is to change a tag on the shortcut of the app. This one may or may not work depending on the app and it can actually decrease loading times in some cases. If you don't notice an improvement or it makes it worse, then just follow the method again to get it back to normal. It's worth a try and what you need to do is first find the shortcut of the app you want to load up. You can find it by searching for it in the search bar. For example, if we search for Audacity, it should say app below its name. Right click on it and then choose open file location. Find it within the file explorer that opens and right click on it and then choose properties. In this new window, look for the box called target. It should have the file destination in it. We will be adding some text into this box and if you are unsure, you could screenshot or take a picture of what it looks like before in case you need to revert the changes. Enter your cursor to the furthest right position of this box. It should be after the speech marks. Now type in space forward slash P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H colon one. I'll leave this in the description too if you want to copy and paste it. Make sure it looks like it does in my box and then click on apply. You might also need to confirm that you have admin privileges after this. Now try running the application and as I mentioned, there is a chance that this won't work and there will be an error message like this with Audacity. If that is the case, follow the method again and then delete the added text we put into the target box so that it ends with the speech mark just like before. The final method I have is to get an SSD or solid state drive if you don't have one already. I've left this to the end as of course, it would be nice to avoid purchasing extra hardware if we can improve loading times without it, but if your programs are still taking ages to load and you have quite an old machine, an SSD should yield huge improvements. If you do get one, you will need to install the operating system and the apps you use most often onto it for the benefits. And so that is how to make apps and programs open and load faster on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. For even more ways to speed up your PC in general, click the card on screen now showing you how to do just that. You should be able to zoom through that video as we've already covered some of the methods today. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.